Troy from Start Organic. We're doing a little uh, winter pest control uh, blog for you guys today. We're going to talk about the looper caterpillar or the cabbage looper. These guys uh, will come in and do a little bit of damage to your leaves, especially for brassica family, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage, the name the cabbage looper. You can see the little holes in the leaves that they cause damage. They eat the outside of leaves too. Let's see if we can get in close here on, a, on one of these. We've got a looper right here kind of hanging out on this leaf. If we get in real close to it, you can see he's, this is a medium sized looper, the size of my thumb there. They get just a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can give you an example of one more. If we get in over here, we've got one right here that's a little bit bigger. This is about as big as they get. And they tend to hide right on the middles of the leaves, kind of down near the new growth here. Um, there's a few ways that we can actually get rid of these guys using organic methods um, and I'll show you those in just a minute here. Alright, so now that we've been talking about the cabbage looper, we want to talk about the three good ways to get rid of them in the garden because they will cause significant damage to your crops. Uh, the first way and probably the very best is to learn how to find them and pick them off with your hands. So this one right here is kind of the one we were talking about earlier. This little guy, he's got a medium sized looper. I'm just going to grab him. And I'm actually going to just hang on to him for a little bit because we've got another one right in here. See this big guy? It's kind of hidden in there. It's still tough to see him. Just kind of grab him off of there. And I'm going to save these for my chickens. These actually are some really good chicken food. So they're going to love these guys. Uh, another couple of ways to do the cabbage looper. You can take uh, pressure water and spray the whole tops of your plants off. And that will actually knock them on the ground. You can take your plants and you can shake them real good and that'll knock the loopers off onto the ground and they'll actually contrast a lot better with the soil than they will with these green leaves. Uh, you can, there are organically approved sprays that you can use on looper caterpillars. There's a thing called BT. Typically we don't use it because uh, it actually is a, it's a toxin, but it is organically approved. So you can use it in small quantities to get rid of these guys. Uh, if you're going to spray BT, we recommend spraying it at night so that you don't actually like burn the plants. You know, they actually react kind of negatively to that. And the last way that we take care of cabbage loopers are kind of catching them before they start. Uh, there is a white moth that flies around and actually deposits a small larva on the back side of the leaves. It's a very, very small mark. Uh, it's a tiny, tiny a dot, little yellow dot. If you guys could rub those off or even kind of like use that pressure water to spray those off, they'll never actually kind of uh, form up into these looper caterpillars. You can get them off before they really start. So being aware of the, the moth that comes around and lays the larva is a good way to prevent them as well. Visit startorganic.org to start growing today.